G'day legends and welcome back. Well, you may have seen the storm currently going on for Jagex. No Monkeys titled his video, The Rebalancing Disaster, but they have currently put out another post addressing all of the feedback and they've made some very big changes, which we'll get to soon. But before we get there, let's check out what Foe received nice and early. Double drop rate is pity rate. That's going to happen about seven. <laughs> All right. Uh, bro, I told you I was going to get this thing, dude. The man couldn't believe it, receiving that pet at the very low 3KC. But while we are looking at pets, let's switch over to this disgusting ultimate Iron Man that has just about every single item in the game on the floor. Imagine. Oh, no, just take my thing, dude. Come on. I got it. Yes. Yes. Yes! Oh my god, I got him! Oh, I love this pet, dude. No f way! <laughs> yes! Oh my god. At least he doesn't have to carry that pet in his invent, and it must be the day for very early drops. I got a pet? What? Oh, look at him! What? She could not believe it, and I can see why that was at just 130kc. Probably one of her first ever times attempting the mole, and now she literally never has to come back. And hold the phone for just a second when you think Foe's RNG couldn't get any better. Great chins. Sweet. I love going back and forth between the chins. That's really good. Uh, I just got Quetzin again. I just, I, I literally just got the pet again. Go ahead and send that to Rorty. Let's go ahead and add that to the tweet. Already said he reported me. From 3kc to 13kc, here comes the comments of people saying that the streamer's RNG is rigged. You're putting higher percentage magic damage on Arams? Stop talking. 5% on Arams? Stop talking. And less on Ancestral 2.5%? Stop talking, bro. You're done. You're done. Loops, you are Reddit personified, bro. You knock it off, dude. If Reddit was a person, it's you. Well, with all of the changes that Jagex was proposing, Foe was absolutely copying it all day. But if you think that's bad, wait till you see this one from Coxie. Iron Man, I want you to f look at me, okay? I want you to f look at me. You guys are pussies. Pussies, okay? De-iron and play the main game and stop being f***ing pussies. You're trolling me. You're f***ing controlling me this is only the start right now okay it doesn't look that bad because it's just, oh it's just inquisitor armor only like it's just you do protection against only inquisitor armor yeah it always starts at that we just got do protection for perilous moons we're getting do protection for it was all the streamers were talking about today as you may have seen jagex took all of the feedback and the criticism and there was a lot of criticism on their project rebalance with the items and combat adjustments jagex made a lot of changes in their updated blog taking on all of the feedback basically there's a massive change to the magic damage distribution you can read it down below if you want to go into it a very interesting proposed change for the minimum hit changes basically saying instead of rolling a 0, 1, 2, 3. You'll now roll a 1, 1, 2, 3. It's still possible to hit a 0, but it will be much more unlikely. Overall, it's not going to change too much. It will just make the early game a little bit more exciting. They were proposing to change the Void Waker to 200% accuracy, and now it's looking like they're going to be changing it to 400% accuracy, which is five times the original rate. And one thing that everyone is talking about, Jagex is really pushing the narrative to not make drops take an extremely long time. They're looking out for the everyday player who has a family has to go to work and can only grind for a couple of hours in the afternoon and they're proposing the change to make it so it's impossible to receive dupes from certain areas they're calling it dupe protection and it's the main thing that everyone's been talking about and to be honest it is mainly catering for the iron man game mode but a lot of players who can't play for 10 hours every single day are saying this will be a positive thing for their account but the majority of people that i've seen talking about it are creators and they are not very very happy about it. Anyway, I went on to Reddit and it was an absolute minefield. Let me know what you think of all the proposed changes. There's a few more. It's all linked down below if you want to have an in-depth look. And there was actually some other news today. The rank 115 hardcore Iron Man unfortunately has perished. I wish there was a clip. He had some pretty high ranks. Looks like he was going for rank 7 in a few of the bosses. Over to Makeru on his group hardcore Iron Man. This is day 4 of him trying to get the Inferno cape. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't know what was healing him, bro. 
Oh, there was one there. Oh, I was so confused. I couldn't see the tiny one behind him, man. It was just not happening for him. But can Jessie show everyone that she's a true gamer and receive the Inferno cape on her account? All right, we're going to get another spawn. Somebody die! Oh, I had it in the bug. And ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the most viewed clip of the day from Perp's live stream. It was titled Group I and Man Storage Glitch Deleted Items, and you're lucky we've lowered the volume. My net just TC, it was almost all over. That one completely got me. Next up, Skidless clip was titled POV, you're Ron Weasley, and your new mate Harry just brought the whole trolley on the Hogwarts Express. Bloody hell. Bending time is about to receive a long overdue drop, but tell me what his reaction reminds you of. <laughs> With some lovely eye contact at the camera, but if that doesn't remind you, Donnie from the Wild Thornberries, I don't know what will. A casual no purple TOB for Sido, or was it? We take. No fucking shot! Sorry, that was a little loud. Um, what? <laughs> Who? I was uh, not expecting. Uh, sure. You know what? It's Pet Friday somewhere. <laughs> and that is just beautiful to receive at 47k. See, but maybe some people would much rather receive this. I mean, I guess. We'll I mean, that. like, I don't really want it, but like, I could just drop it right now, but I, I'll take it. You know, like, I don't really, I don't need the money, but. Oh, I just know that's going to trigger people. And if you're a numbers person, was anyone else weirded out that that scythe drop was 74kc, but the pet drop on the previous clip was 47. It's just the numbers inverse. It just got me all hot and bothered. What? 23 moons has just started the Zora grind and his chat decided to troll him. Like, too easy for the. It has to be. Lucky the palm tree says. Bro, I got it again. I got it again. The 2KC drop was just far too good to receive, but don't worry because he did pull this at just 33KC. No way! Let's go! Bro, I'm spooned! 33kc! <laughs> From an Elder Mortar, Tez and I Fang! <laughs> Our very early Fang, that's gonna be very helpful for this Iron Man's grind. Now we're off to someone who's killing the most beautiful boss in all of Gillinor. Oh, no fing way. Holy f. <laughs> that's fing unreal. The KC is so low, man. I just done this boss like two days. 207kc pet on like a 1 in 3000 drop rate. And there's no way anyone out there can tell me that's not the most disgusting looking pet we've ever seen. Parking meter has just been tele blocked, but he's in for the big battle and this one ends in such a cool way. Oh my god! Risk it for the biscuit, baby. That's a big PK. 43 mil. We got the Blood Moon legs in this one. Beautiful loot, man. Beautiful loot. You have to respect the risk when that guy was coming in with the massive specs. Parking meter certainly deserves that 43 mil. There's a reason to my sanity. There's a reason my sanity yesterday we saw shenanigans just doing a regular run but for some reason he had a very weird message that wanted him to teleport to the wilderness well he figured out the bug after his run yeah there see hmm Okay, we'll turn off custom menu swaps and see if I can replicate this. Them some fast clicks, but be very careful. You do not want to teleport out to the wilderness while you have all your gear on. Or if you're on a hardcore, which is exactly what AP he is on here while he's tackling a little bit of Zami. It seems it was the day to receive the Zami Hills, but was it the day for this one defense Iron Man to receive his first ever Coliseum KC? No! 
Oh, I'm alive! What? No! I... PDA! I thought I was dead! The emotional roller coaster was real. The man was dead, but then he wasn't. And then, unfortunately, he lost it all. Oh, yes! Fucking hell, finally! I'm out of here! I'm done! Fuck you, Spindle! I'm out of there! 2121. 2121 fing kill. I am finally done! Oh, some people might hate that he said finally this man was only just slightly over the drop rate, but he has completed all of the main wilderness bosses with that pet. And here we have Potato Heim giving us a very interesting way on how to learn chambers. We're learning, we're vibing. This is not a race. This is about this is about knowing what to do, not going fast. It's like sex, you know? It's better to know what you're doing and make it slow and comfy than to just pound, rush in, straight in. Everyone's crying, your mom's in the room, why is she there? No one's having fun, it's just embarrassing and sad. I have absolutely no idea what she's talking about, but I kind of like it. Thank you so much for watching, please drop your like, and I'll see you legends next week. Tasty is back tomorrow.